Well, so I'm currently at Butte and any minute now I'll pop into the frame. I've got my camera parked up the top looking for an, getting a nice panorama of the beach and what a beach. It seems a shame to spoil it, which I'm not going to. Apologise for my back again. Magnificent, you can't see it. Stone structure to the left. Lovely Sahara like desert sands. Butte Beach. This is the place that Thomas Heaton recently came to and did a photograph of the S Bend. Now I've decided to forego that photograph and I've done some panoramic shots getting the S Bend. You've got the foreground of the S Bend going into the mid ground and looping back again. And it almost leads you into the Holy Island Castle but it kind of goes a bit further on. Some lovely cloud movement. The perspective changes the image significantly. If I was down here, you can see the foreground, you can see a tidy bit of the midground, but not a lot else. But by elevating yourself, you see much more of the S-Bend. What an amazing place this is. What an amazing place. You've got Rich up there. Hello, Rich. Danny. Dan, shall I say, to his left. Lens left for the day, Andrew's left for the day. Glorious clouds, glorious coverage. I am tempted to get further down here, to get right up, right on the beach. You could almost. You have lots of different layers. You've got the foreground of the sand you exclude that foreground water then you've got the more contrasty sand in the midground then a castle in the background might give that a go it's strange these small little bays offer so much so many opportunities for photography both the grand vistas the abstracts with the sand and the movement in the sand you've got the stone wall which I'll show you in a short while you've got the stone it's like a, some kind of jetty or a sea wall to the left with lovely wooden sections that have got rust in them from the from the bolt that are holding them in in a long couple of days you've got this wonderful grass up here you've got a chucked pallet you've got some lovely foreground rocks there unfortunately the tide is out but being here at sunset for the high tide would be nice I'm wondering I bet you could while camp here yeah so by by getting a really wide panorama it gives you the grand view of this place it may be a little too wide and what I've done I've purposely shot quite a wide focal length I think I'm at 12 for the panorama and that's made the castle very small in the distance so you could almost miss it unless you see it and I think by it being small it emphasizes it more because once you see that little dot on the horizon, you're probably going to move in slightly closer to have a look at it. That's my thought process anyway. No real cloud moments, so you can't get in long exposures at the moment. The clouds, very dramatic. Yonder, I think the clouds are going that way, so there's no chance of any rain. quite hard doing nothing for me doing nothing for the viewer to watch me doing nothing if that makes sense and only people who've been here or in a situation like this know what it feels like you've got the wind I'm off again you've got the wind you've got the waves you've got the cloud movement you've got the sights the sounds you've even got the smells and that's something you have to try to convey in a photograph and it's something I do struggle with what am I trying to say what's the story yeah, that'll come with time, I suppose. You can see the sand just blowing across the mid section of the beach. I think I shall wrap it up there. I think I shall wrap it up. It's been a pleasure having you along with me. I've got no meat planned at the moment, but with it coming to the winter months, as soon as I see a frosting of snow, 
I'm out of there and I'm off. I'm after some minimal landscape photographs with high contrast, uh, minimal trees, minimal bushes, minimal roads, minimal stakes. I've done some before, a la um, Michael Kenner, and I shall have a few more goes at them. I think my intentional camera movements have done quite well, um, but we shall see, because you never know until you get it on the computer. Thanks for joining me again. Now we're going to climb back up that really great hill, mountain, I tell you. Anyway, been a pleasure. See ya. But I can run up it. <coughs> no, I can't. Wait a second. There you go, that's a lovely outcrop there. A few blades of grass in the immediate foreground. And the, the wood just along the side. What that looks like at high tide. And there's where I was stood with the castle in the background. Anyway, that's Andy Sheeda signing off from the wonderful Northumberland. See ya.